In this tutorial, we assume that you've got a stable uh, diffusion installed in Blender. It costs you nothing. And you've created an account and you've set it up. I've got that one minute YouTube short that shows you how. Now, currently, we can look at our render. We've got this crazy result. And you're probably wondering, how does this whole thing work? How do we tweak our results? And this can't be done in <laughs> one minute. Well, one thing you need to pay attention to is that uh, the stable diffusion is nothing more than a composition inside of Blender. It just adds one composite and there you go. And if we can press on tab to see what's happening here, it's taking the image and then it's using this mix factor to generate a result based on the render layer. And uh, yeah, so, so I'm going to take it to the extreme here and you're going to see what can be done. Right, so uh, the first thing we want to look at is we're going to use the same example the whole time and you'll see all the different processes and errors that you run into once you, once you set this up, like if it blurs out or whatever the case may be, how to handle various things. And for fun, I'm going to stick to anime. I'm going to leave it on Gold Castle, like my uh, previous, like my tutorial. And this factor, I think, ended up, it's supposed to be on like 0 0.4. So I think that's a standard one. And if we read over here, uh, 0 0.1 to 0 0.4 will turn the sample render into a unique new creation. Uh, 0.5 will keep a lot of the composition, but st will still make changes. And then for that refinement, 0 0.6 to 0 0.7 keeps things uh, more stable. And high values may require more steps, but won't actually improve the results. So first thing we want to do is click Render Image. And now it's going to change to some sort of castle. It well, probably won't. It'll be a this cube that looks like an anime thing, anime drawing. And it might not come out well. Oh, there we go. So that's not too bad all in all considered. But for your first render, you probably want to put this on something on like 0 0.2, 0 0.1. You, don't, you want it not to be impacted too much by the, the image. It's essentially using the image of the 3D render to generate a composition to decide what it should do. And all we have to do here, we'll leave everything else as is. Uh, we're just going to render the image again until we get a result that we like. And every single time it tries to generate a new result. And here we go. Now we are talking. So now we've got some sort of base anime castle that, that we want. Now that we've got this castle, the first thing we want to do is to go to Render, View Render. And we probably want to save... Uh, as right so I'm just gonna take this to my desktop and I'm gonna call this anime castle and I'm gonna save image and this is gonna show you the power of a tool like this hopefully you'll, you'll get where, where we where, where the future is going to which is quite scary now that we've got that image I'm gonna actually create a new blender scene I could do it in yeah but uh, whatever right, right and uh, the first thing I want to do is select this camera and delete it then press shift a mesh and i'm going to add a camera to the scene shift a where is the camera there we go and i'm just going to press g z and actually need to see how the camera sees so i'm going to click on this and i'm going to press n and i'm just going to make this let's make this 10 and let's make this all zero There we go. And now we just have to press GZ and just bring this down to about there. Perhaps a little bit more, GZ. There we go. The next thing we want to do is uh, select this default cube, materials, base color, and we're going to change this with an image texture. We're going to open up the image and we're going to find that image we just created, the castle. Right? And I'm just going to switch to material viewport. Now the problem with this, when you're using a cube, it doesn't work so well. So what I recommend is you actually delete this cube, shift A, mesh, and just use a plane. And we can just press G, Z and just lift it up slightly till it's about there. And then we press new, base color, uh, image texture, open, find the image that you want to use, and just so that we know it is working, I'm just going to switch this to render view mode, and in fact I think we are 
done here. So we can just close these over here. And now we can go to our render settings and we can enable AI and we have to set image size ratio for now. In the future, this will be better. Now, if this is the image size ratio, we can actually go back to, um, we can actually just press G to grab this, Z on the Z axis. And I'm just gonna bring this up, G, Z. Hold on, it might be easier once again. G, Z, G, Z, one. GZ minus 0.2.3. There we go. That's perfect. That's a perfect fit. So it'll be using this reference. Okay, cool. Now that we've got this, let's. Uh, we used anime in the beginning, but let's now change it to Shin Hanga style. And we're going to go to the advanced settings. And now we have to be careful here. We, we want some of the stuff to change, but not too much. And I would recommend like zero point let's start off with 0 0.6 and uh, everything else is fine the way it is we could play with it but for now that's not what I'm trying to show you in this tutorial so now we're going to render an image and we let it do what it has to do and there we go now we can see a slightly different style of this castle creation isn't that amazing now we press image save as and anime castle uh, and we're just going to say two this is our second revision I'm surprised we're not running into a bunch of issues yeah but that's cool and now that we've got this revision um, I'm just going and if we didn't like this result we could just say render again and it'll take the original one and we'll try and render a new version um, so you can do this until you get the version you like and you can change the text to whatever you want in this case I'm not even adding text Wow, now that is beautiful. It's amazing. Uh, so we make this castle three, and we're going to look at all these variations in the end. Uh, okay, cool. So now we're happy with that. That's the one we want to work with. So we just go back to our layout, because currently we've got AI render over here. Go to our layout, and we're going to just change the image texture. Right? So remove that, press open, go to wherever you saved it, and I'm going to use this one here, because this one blew my mind however in the render settings let's just change this back to the camera viewport we we do want to change a few things here perhaps we want to change the art style to um, some of the art options are missing perhaps we want to go crazy and bone that's a bad idea I think let's rather yeah Dan Mumford that could still work yeah we choose this art style and now we just want to have slight refinement we don't want to go crazy we're going to go uh, 0 0.7 and uh, the prompt strength is how closely the text prompt will be uh, will be followed uh, so this is if you add some sort of text and we don't care for this because we're not using that right now um, and then we've got steps here how long to process the image values range from 25 to 50 generally work well high values take longer but don't necessarily mean better results so if that's the case let's use 45 and let's click render image and with this new art style within a matter of seconds you've got an absolutely new creation now I'm not a fan of this so what I'm going to do based on what I see yeah I'm not seeing this art style flourish uh, we're gonna go to the advanced settings and we're gonna change this to 0 0.5 so it keeps most of what's there but still creates a bunch of new stuff. So we're going to render image. It is a beautiful castle, by the way. Kind of blown away by the power of AI. But I'm showing you where the human factor comes in here. Wow, isn't that interesting? Now this isn't to my standard, so I'm going to render the image again, but it's definitely on track. It's probably not going to be as beautiful as this. Um, but here we go. still not good enough and perhaps it's the art style because I'm, I'm seeing a lot at lose it's losing too much detail for me to care okay let's change the description of here we're going to call this gold castle and just to be clear detailed gold castle 
and now we press render image again and once again we're not losing the ma main image we're working from we're just kind of improving up upon what we have until we get the kind of art style we want I mean this is loads of fun okay this is closer but I think it's the problem with the art style and uh, perhaps this is the one I actually wanted to go with to begin with so perhaps let's not go crazy let's stick to the curriculum the plan <laughs> I laid out before starting this video and look at that oh it's so good but it's not good enough that's gonna look great when we can win this offers like 4k I mean this that kind of detail is sick but it's not good enough for what we want and you can go through th a thousand revisions until you get something you like now I'm gonna actually just remove this text completely and I'm just gonna let it work on the image itself without the text to see how different the results are let's click render one more time so that's the thing with AI it's it, it's trying to figure it out but it doesn't know see it's looking at the colors and it's building a person because you're not telling it so let's type in gold castle and we just leave it like that for now and we click render image this is a fun little journey and I'm going to sh show you some other cool stuff in a sec okay I'm just gonna work with this image moving forward so I'm gonna image save as gold castle 4 it's not my favorite one but this is a tutorial so we're gonna work with this from now on so now we go back to our layout uh, select our plane go to our material settings and open find that specific image and now we've got this but now we're going to take it one step further. We're going to say, you know what? I like this, although the U is terrible. Oh. Let's uh, let's go for newer line art and see if what this creates based on this image. Strength is 0 0.5, which means it's going to try and retain as much as it can, but it's going to struggle yeah, because of the U. Yeah, you can see the U now is is a major factor. Let's click render image again. And if the U is still a factor here, which destroys the image, yes it is, we're gonna now we know we need to change the similarity to maybe 0 0.3. So it can ignore the U. And it's a it's a really like the the, the only way that this works and gener to generate anything good. There we go, that's beautiful. Um, I'm gonna image save as castle five. Um, is the the human in this uh, the human is also very much important it's not just AI as you can tell now that we've got that we go back to our layout and we select this and we just replace it with the new castle and then we go to our AI did I turn that by accident okay cool that's fine Right, so now we can go back to our render settings and what if we want to make this look real? So we're going to do bone carving and we want it to look very similar to this. So we're going to go 0 point, 0 0.6, which is probably ambitious. If it's too ambitious, we will be able to make corrections. So let's just take a look. Yeah, so that's too ambitious. So maybe we go 0 0.4 is probably best of yeah. Although that's a very interesting art style, it's not what we're going for. We're going for bo uh, bone realism. Yeah, okay, that's definitely bone. Let's render the image again. And sometimes you'll get blurs and stuff. Also, you want to avoid anything to do with. Uh, gore or any form of adult content because there is stuff in the code to prevent you from doing that now look at that look what we're generating here this is getting insane I'm not really a fan of this art style so I do want to finish off on a high and I do think wild rainbow would be awesome over here 
And I do think if we make this strength 0 0.5, it's, it, we can do refinements on what we have to get an image that could really be wonderful. Perhaps 0 0.45. Oh, there we go. I'm, I'm definitely saving this. Save as Castle 6. But just out of curiosity, what happens if we, if we take 0? Remember, we started with a, a gold cube. And now we've got this. This is insane. Let's, let's, let's do this. Give it a bit of room to deviate a little bit. And let's just see what, what it can generate. Oh, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this introductory uh, tutorial to stable diffusion. Um, and you understand in advanced settings of like how you refine this. Maybe in the beginning you start off on a very um, a very uh, low number, and you slowly but surely work your way up as you change this text over here. 